Matilda Lando with greenery and parcels in her arms, Leon with suitcase and violin, they walk down the street, one is a cold-blooded killer, and the other is a precocious girl who has gone through hardships, their fates are intertwined by a murder. The man's name is Leon, under the sunglasses, he is agile and fierce, and he is a famous killer, to Leon, being a killer meant nothing more than a career, a career he had no choice in, he maintains the power of life and death in the dark, hanging over everyone's head like a god, he simply and neatly completes each transaction, the moment Leon got home, lowered the windows, unloaded all his gear, and started showering, his naked helplessness and exhaustion were on display, afterwards, he meticulously ironed his clothes and took good care of his only friend, he said that this potted green plant is always happy, like him, no fixed place, due to his special occupation, he only dared to sit and sleep with a gun next to him, Leon occasionally came to the empty cinema to watch musicals, having the novelty and joy of a child, and looking back at other audiences from time to time, Leon wanted to share his happiness with others, he always wears a long windbreaker and walks leisurely through the streets and alleys, the loneliness and loneliness of the middle-aged man melt in the wind, until he meets 12-year-old Matilda Lando, Matilda Lando is his current neighbor, Matilda Lando's family is chaotic, making Matilda Lando look like a precocious bad girl, his father sells drugs for the local police, and his stepmother works in a nightclub, the half-sister was fierce and often abused her, every time Leon met her, he could see the marks of the beatings on- What happened? I fell off my bike. Matilda Lando's face, Matilda Lando doesn't tell outsiders about her grievances, when Matilda Lando is sad, she will sit by the corridor, so she can often see Leon, Leon on the other hand, sympathized with the little girl, Leon handed over the tissue and asked Matilda Lando to wipe off the note. Is life always this hard? Just when you're a kid. Always like this. Bleed. Leon didn't want to cheat Matilda Lando, Matilda Lando's hostile yet somewhat frightened expression is unique to girls. Matilda Lando said she was going to the grocery store and could bring some milk for Leon, Leon nodded in agreement, Matilda Lando happily went downstairs to go shopping, when Matilda Lando came back, she found her family members dead in the room, Matilda Lando burst into tears, begging Leon to open the door, Leon was very hesitant to hold the gun, Leon didn't want to meddle in other people's business, prior to this, Matilda Lando's father helped a policeman named Norman keep a batch of drugs, and Matilda Lando's father stole part of it, after Norman found out, he asked him to return it as soon as possible, but he insisted that he didn't take it, so he was madly retaliated by Norman, Norman led a group of people into Matilda Lando's house with a gun and killed the family, even the four-year-old brother was not spared, only Matilda Lando, who went downstairs to buy something, escaped unharmed after returning. Matilda Lando saw her father's body and understood that something had happened at home. Matilda Lando walks to Leon's door, pretending to be Leon's child. Matilda Lando kept begging Leon to open the door. Leon was very entangled in his heart as a killer. He shouldn't get into trouble, but Matilda Lando's plea made him unable to ignore it. Finally, he opened the door. From that moment on, his career as a killer was coming to an end. Matilda Lando broke into Leon's life just like that. Leon didn't know how to comfort Matilda Lando. Matilda Lando said she was not crying for her parents and sister, but... What the hell did he do? Four years old. He never used to cry. Just used to sit next to me and cuddle. Because of her beloved brother, Leon ran to the kitchen, took out a piggy glove, imitated the piggy's voice, and made Matilda Lando happy. A killer who kills without blinking and I has such tenderness. What exactly do you do for a living? Cleaner. You mean you're a hitman? Yeah. Cool. Matilda Lando stumbles across Leon's gun, Matilda Lando is not afraid, and wants Leon to train her as a killer to avenge her younger brother, in return, Matilda Lando would clean the house, do the shopping and do the laundry for Leon, Leon decisively rejected Matilda Lando, at night, Leon couldn't sleep at all, a killer is destined to be free from attachments, Leon put the gun on the sleeping Matilda Lando's head, but still couldn't press the trigger, the next day, he wanted to drive Matilda Lando away, but Matilda Lando refused to leave, Matilda Lando raised her gun and fired a few shots outside, proving that she was not a cowardly and weak girl, Leon begins teaching Matilda Lando how to kill, start from the most basic skills, and use it to snipe the target with a gun, Matilda Lando taught Leon to read and take care of Leon's daily life, sometimes two people will play the game of changing clothes and guessing stars, one pretending to be the other guessing, they became familiar with each other, and the two cold hearts gave out a faint light, warming and redeeming each other, Leon became Matilda Lando's belief, but Matilda Lando became Leon's weakness, Leon told his boss that if one day he had an accident, he hoped to give all the money he earned to Matilda Lando, at this time, Matilda Lando secretly ran back to her house while Leon was away, and retrieved the money hidden under the floor, unfortunately, Norman and several police officers also came here, Matilda Lando hid and eavesdropped on their conversation, and learned that he was the murderer of his family, so she followed Norman all the way to the police station.
Matilda Lando bet her life that if she survived this shot, she would stay by Leon's side for the rest of her life. Leon saved her at the last moment. Leon was moved by Matilda Lando's determination and accepted Matilda Lando as his assistant. Since Matilda Lando learned that Norman was her enemy, Matilda Lando used her own money to buy Norman's head from Leon. But Leon refused because it was too difficult. He doesn't support Matilda Lando to seek revenge. Nothing's the same after you've killed someone. The life is changed forever. And I have to sleep with one eye open for the rest of your life. Matilda Lando couldn't forget her little brother's death. Matilda Lando didn't care about it at all, either live or die. These are the two choices for Matilda Lando now. Leon was deeply touched by Matilda Lando. Leon began to take Matilda Lando out on a mission to teach him how to be a killer. After the two scored together, Leon controlled the target and let Matilda Lando do it. Matilda Lando fired two shots with Easter eggs. Leon pointed out Matilda Lando's problem, and then he completed the task with live ammunition. The mission that day was so dangerous that Leon decided not to take Matilda Lando, feeling slighted. Matilda Lando left a suicide note telling Leon that she was going to seek revenge from Norman. If the task fails, use private money to buy Norman's head. Matilda Lando pretended to be a delivery girl and successfully sneaked into the police station, but was caught by Norman, facing the enemy. The young Matilda Lando was terrified and motionless with tears in her eyes. Just as Norman was thinking about what to do, the men told Norman that there was a killer who killed another group of their accomplices, and this killer was Leon. Norman went to investigate and locked Matilda Lando in the office. Leon came home and after seeing Matilda Lando's suicide note, Leon rushed into the police station and killed all the way to Norman's office. Leon rescued Matilda Lando, they hug each other. In the evening, Leon tells Matilda Lando about his past. Once he fell in love with a girl from a prominent family, but the girl's father strongly opposed it. On the night when the two were about to elope, the father shot and killed his daughter. Leon killed the evil father, and has been wandering in different places since then, becoming a killer. Matilda Lando looked at Leon, and Matilda Lando ordered Leon to lie in bed and sleep tonight. Leon lay stiffly, and Matilda Lando slipped into his arms, until the next morning. When Leon woke up from his deep sleep, he had never had such a good night's sleep. Norman has found Leon's boss and learned of Leon's hiding place by threatening, mobilize special police to surround. Matilda Lando was caught just returning from shopping. Under duress, Matilda Lando prepares Leon with a fake knock signal. After a scuffle, Leon pointed his gun at a special police officer and successfully exchanged Matilda Lando. In order for Matilda Lando to escape, he smashed open the ventilation duct. No, I'm not letting... I'm not going! Listen, I won't go! Listen, I won't listen, go! Listen, I have no chance, Greta, but if I'm alone, I can do it. Trust me, I'm in good shape, Matilda. I know I've got a lot of money with Tony. A lot. We'll take it and live together. Just the two of us, okay? No! <laughs> I love you, Matilda. I love you too, Leon. When Matilda Lando left, Leon roared loudly, and a grenade flew over. When the SWAT police thought that Leon was dead, Leon disguised himself as an injured policeman and was escorted all the way out. Leon took advantage of the confusion and went to the exit, and Norman followed Leon. Norman spotted him and gave Leon the fatal blow. The bright sunlight outside the door is as suffocating as the dazzling blood light inside the door. Leon couldn't escape after all, before dying. Leon gave Norman something, which was a pull ring. Finally, Matilda Lando came to the boss and was reprimanded by the boss, who promised to give Matilda Lando a little money every month so that Matilda Lando should leave here quickly. Sad Matilda Lando came to the orphanage with Leon's beloved green plant and planted the green plant in the yard. I think we'll be okay here, Leon. This time, Leon is no longer like a plant without roots. He has finally taken root. The movie ends here. Girls in the elf class in their teens. Indifferent men in their 30s and 40s, angels who can hear the Lord's call at any time, and demons with blood on their hands are all unbridgeable gaps. Reason told Leon that the killer should not have feelings, but his heart has been shaken. His life is no longer just killing people and that plate of plants. Leon is about to die but still does not forget to avenge Matilda Lando. Leon's love for Matilda Lando cannot be put on hold. Choosing this way to love is forbearing and painful. The appearance of Matilda Lando became the light of his life.